Eternal Oblivion, Wikipedia Audio In philosophy, eternal oblivion is the permanent cessation of one's consciousness upon death. This concept is often associated with religious skepticism and atheism, and may be based in part on the lack of objective evidence for an afterlife and identifying fallacies in the arguments for an afterlife such as Occam's razor. According to contemporary theories of consciousness, the brain is the basis of subjective experience, agency, self-awareness, and awareness of the surrounding natural world. When brain death occurs, all brain function permanently ceases. Many people who believe that death is a permanent cessation of consciousness also believe that consciousness is dependent upon the functioning of the brain. Scientific research has discovered that some areas of the brain, like the reticular activating system or the thalamus, appear to be necessary for consciousness, because damage to these structures or their lack of function causes a loss of consciousness. Through a naturalist analysis of the mind, it is regarded as being dependent on the brain, as shown from the various effects of brain damage. Etymology The English word oblivion comes from the Old French oblivion and directly from the Latin oblivionum, meaning forgetfulness, a being forgotten, which also comes from the word oblivacy. Oblivion itself means state of being forgotten. Thomas W. Clark, founder of Center for Naturalism, wrote a paper titled Death, Nothingness, and Subjectivity. He critiqued what he saw as a flawed description of eternal oblivion as a plunge into darkness. When some imagine their deaths, they project themselves into a future self which experiences an eternal silent darkness. This is wrong, because without consciousness, there is no...